Hey guys, a brief update on Matthew Fox. He was suspended 18 months over the flooded strand. Uh, essentially, he stole a flooded strand, which is a promo. The promo was going for about 20 to 25 euros buy list. And a judge asked him if he had received his promo. He lied. He knowingly lied. And then they found a promo on him. So they realized, hey, this guy is lying to steal a relatively useless and worthless promo in considering what he has lost. So interesting fact, he was banned immediately. Uh, there was no length and period. There was no discussion. He was banned for 18 months over the flooded strand that he stole. That's crazy. Um, that's pretty crazy. Now, I'm not a big fan of people stealing, as I've been on record for saying so, but just how fast they came to this conclusion and how it's 18 months, that's more than Alex Bocchini got, and Alex Bocchini is still top eighting GPs. So I can only conclude that there are people that will be punished heavily, like Jeremy from Unsleeved Media, for life and then there's people who will get a slight tap on their hand when they do something bad like stealing black lotuses power nine so in this case the argument is he stole from the tournament uh, that the tournament is out this 20 20 25 euro card but how much is alex stolen i mean he's stolen a whole set of power nine he's stowing stolen $10,000 from the player pool. This isn't Star City Games being very nice. The pool of money is people essentially donating it and gifting it to Star City Games as entry fee. So let me get that out the way. Uh, let me get the, get the neutral viewpoint out the way. And now I'm going to go ham about Magic Pros. This is pretty crazy that Magic Pros professionals are forced to steal $20 cards and this is actually a logical move for him he has ruined his entire reputation he has been banned whenever you search his name one of the first things that you will learn about him is that fact that he is banned by this wizard of the coast organization so imagine that he is working for apple he gets a job at apple making one of those new apple phones because I mean, $1,400 an Apple phone, I'm, I'm sure they can afford to hire a Magic Pro. And they look at his resume, they do a little bit of a Google search on him, and his, the entire front page is both MTG Line videos and or discussions about how he stole a $20 card. Would you entrust this guy with your technology, your patents and your trade secrets? And would you allow this guy into the room? and give him a USB. Blank no. <laughs> if he's going to steal $20, he'll steal $20 billion, right? I mean, here, here's my... A lot of you don't agree with my philosophy, but the philosophy I have is because I'm a business owner. Many of you don't understand how... I don't want to say many of you. It's very difficult to own a business. And when you are responsible for payroll, and when you are responsible for the employees, their children, their daycare. I mean, if you do something bad, and I, I mean, some of you were offended when I was talking about the brother of a part-time freelancer who was a very bad sexual, I mean, he has a, such a bad reputation in Houston. He's all, he's on the Facebooks. Um, he is very creepy. And it was about time that he got caught, about time he went to jail. But if you're in a cosplay community, you know who this dude is. He's one of those really creepy dudes. He's 24, and he's targeting very young, quote, models, female models that are way under AIDS. You, you just cannot be associated with, you cannot be associated with this. It, it cannot happen. As soon as you recognize what the problem is, you have to say, okay, that's no good. And, you know, the justification that a lot of people make is, oh, this is a mistake. This is a simple mistake. He never has done this before. 
and oh, Alex has never cheated before. Dan Ward has never cheated before. These people are saints. Just because you get caught cheating does not mean that is the only time you cheated. Just because you got caught stealing does not mean that is the only time you got caught stealing. A bunch of circumstances have to align perfectly for someone to get caught. And it's by randomness, right? It's totally random. So it's likely this guy stole magic cards from his friends, his family, his trade partners. I see this, I mean, happen all the time. When someone's playing a game, you're playing a game, and then a person's like, hey, can I look at your trade binder? And if you never say yes, because you're not focused on what your trade binder is. You, you don't know what is being taken from your trade binder. And you know those people, they take out the cards from your binder. How do you know how many cards they took out? You don't because you're focused on the game. And this happens so often to new players. I, and I always, th I always tell the new player, uh, you shouldn't trade when you're playing. Um, you can trade after. And they, they, they view it as, oh, MTG Lions being a blank. And he's being mean to me, but I'm really doing it to protect you because I know that other person who wants to trade with you while you're playing is stealing your car shit. It's hard for me to prove it, but you know I have enough uh, moxie to call him out on it. And this happens a lot of times. And a lot of times I can't even call them out because they're new players. They're, they came an hour away from uh, Corpus Christi or somewhere else. Like They're not local players. So when they steal your cards, there's no repercussion. So that is what's happening with this dude. The repercussion is incredibly severe. The punishment from for now until end of times, he will be on the suspended list for a, a Magic the Gathering game. That definitely is not a resume builder. I can tell you that a top Fortune 500, I can tell you my small, small startup, we can't have people who are willing to steal $20 because... There are literally $20 bills everywhere at our startup, right? Because it's magic. We have tons of reserve list magic cards. How do I know, oh, this card has gone missing. Who took it? I don't. So the same with the Nintendo Switch games. Sometimes they go missing. Sometimes they return. But like, it's really hard to keep track of everything because you have to trust in the person that you're hiring, that they're not when you are at a client meeting or you you can't be at the office all the time, that they won't just bring a U-Haul and just put all the electronics in and off you go. And it's not just the electronics that matter, it's the data on the electronics that's not really useful to the person who stole it. But I mean, those are client lists, those are client relationships that are maybe destroyed forever because you put their data in at risk. So a lot of people are, um, they are condoning this behavior of stealing. Oh, it's only a $20 card. Who cares? You don't know if he's stolen a Black Lotus before. You don't know what else he has stolen. But I can tell you 100% certainty that he did steal something else. It is, he would have to be A, the unluckiest person alive, or B, just absolutely terrible at, at you know stealing lying to be caught the first time he tried it right how many times do you think alex Bocchini got stole stuff and cheated before he was caught one time hundreds everyone says he's a nice guy i wonder why that is when he'll cheat you and steal you your money right in front of your face and you still love him pathetic i mean that's the most pathetic part of this was the guy protecting I showed a person a video of him playing and he was an employee of the store. His name is Dan. And the guy who he played with, who got cheated, defended him. A few months later, it came out that he was still cheating. Dan was still cheating. The guy still defended him. In what realm? And like, we're like in the twilight zone here. Let me, let me play this way. Someone punches you in the face and steals your money. And, or your magic cards. I guess you would care about magic cards. And you thank them. And you protect them. And then police show up and they're like, what happened here? And you're like, oh, you know, he didn't, he didn't mean to steal my money. He didn't mean to steal my magic cards. Don't worry about it, right? Don't worry about it. Police is still going to throw the guy in jail because there's video evidence. It's not 
a crime against a person that that we should be worried about. It's this condoning of this behavior that will lead to further crimes in the future. And that's what's happening here. Are you telling me? And, and you know, I had people in the comment section and I've blocked them. And they, they make this argument. And the argument is very illogical to me where, oh, I stole something many times and now I'm changed. But they were never caught. They were never punished. There's no repercussion. And they're telling me in a anonymous way that they were stealing stuff. But now they have reformed. Are you blanking kidding me? You're proud that you stole something. You're admitting online, a bet on an a anonymous username, that you stole things when you were younger. And now you have changed. And you no longer steal stuff. And people can change because you changed. You didn't change. You didn't change. The circumstances changed. Maybe you got a better job. Maybe you could afford stuff. If I gave you the opportunity to steal $100 and no one would ever know, you would do it. Because there was never any repercussion. This whole concept of, oh, you know, I'm, uh, no, I'll, I'll use a sexual predator. I'm a sexual predator and suddenly I have uh, changed. No, you didn't change. You got put on the sex register and now it's harder for you to get in touch with children. You didn't change, dude. It's just harder for you to do what you want to, and you and people still do it. Uh, but we have to make it difficult. We have to put them in the registries. We have to monitor the neighborhood. We can, at, this, I don't want to compare this to being on the sexual registry but pretty much if you google this guy's name you're going to associate stealing that's it no every future employee is going to google his name and the first thing that'll come up is a big bad mtg line video same with sexual offenders the first thing that comes up you're on the registry and then i think you have to take pictures every so often i mean there's a reason we do this right as a society it's because not because you somehow healed yourself no, it's just way more difficult now because no one trusts you and you can go on your neighborhood and then you can type in, uh, I don't know what the website is, but you can figure out who's on the sexual offenders registry who lives near you. There's a reason that you have the picture, you have their full name, you have their address, you have their place at work. And this is like any citizen can get this. So people want me, people tell me, Oh, you know, I, I've changed, he's changed, I used to steal so much, and now I don't steal at all. Your circumstances change. The opportunities may get diff more difficult because when you were a little kid, there weren't as many cameras. Try to steal now. Try to go to Walmart and try to steal. There are cameras everywhere. It's harder than when you were a little kid and you admit to me that you were stealing all the time. So that's my point. I, I truly... At the core of my belief is this concept that your characteristics, your traits that you have been ingrained with for your entire life, they don't change. If you're a good person, you're a good person, and you're going to make good decisions. Even if circumstances are really tough, you will make good decisions because you've made good decisions your entire life. You've been a good person your entire life. Why would you change? If you're a bad person, no matter how good your circumstances have become or for lack of a better word, your opportunities have increased, you're still going to be a bad person. Anyway, I know a lot of you don't like me to say this type of stuff. People believe in second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine, ten tries. And, you know, like, I would never put my employees and their children at risk because we have someone else, we have a freelancer who is associated with bad things. And you Google the name and it's a hop and a skip away from my marketing agency because the last name is so uncommon. You know, it's not worth it because you got to protect you got to protect your business you got to protect your employees uh if there's if there's any inkling that something bad is going to happen you have to take preventive measures as best as you can anyway
Bye.